Here's how you convert videos for BrightSign players. First, head on Google and search Download Bright Author. You'll see the download page for all BrightSign software. We're working on a Mac, so we'll download Bright Author Connected. Download, install, and you're ready to start converting videos. If you know the player type you're working with, you can filter available downloads up here based on player type. But as far as converting videos go, the software is the same for all player types. All right, now I have Bright Author installed. You can use this to set up Bright Sign players, manage a network of players, and of course, create presentations for players. I'm delivering a video, so I'll create a new presentation. Presentation is like a project file, so you should give it a name and destination. You can later come back and make changes if needed. Based on my experience, Bright Sign files can be compatible between different player types, but this is not always the case, so it's best to find out what player is going to be used for this video and set up the presentation for that specific player type. Personally, this is sometimes challenging when a client requests a video but doesn't know the player type, but I always try to ask them to minimize any compatibility issues. Choose the resolution depending on what type of display the video will be playing on. If you're delivering a 4K video, your source file needs to be encoded as HEVC video. Also, pay attention to bit rates. BrightSign players have specific max bit rate limits for 1080p and 4K video. If your bit rate is too high, your video can freeze up when the player isn't able to handle your bit rate. Once I have my presentation set up, I'm going to add content to it. There's a lot of settings you can change, but I'm going to make a basic presentation with one video looping on full screen. Once I'm done with that, we'll move on to the Publish tab. Here you'll see the schedule for your presentation, and because I love this video, I want it playing on loop 24 hours a day. Again, you can change a lot of settings here. The one setting I usually check is the player update. In case the target player is out of date, inserting this video will run a software check and update to the specified software version if needed. If you want to change your schedule to specific times and dates, you can do that here as well. Once you're done, pick a destination folder for your export and click Publish. Wait for that to finish and boom, we're done. When you go look at the folder, you'll see a bunch of random files that don't really make any sense, and you can't preview the video here. You'll take these files, load it up on an SD card or thumb drive, or if your player is connected to a network, I hear there's a way to update videos over the network as well. I use SD cards, so I usually power off the player, insert the SD card, and then power my bright sign player back on, and the video will start looping. So that's how you export videos for bright sign players. I'm not a bright sign expert by any means, but through my work, I've had to make a decent amount of these, and I noticed there's very little information available online, so I wanted to share my experience. If you have any other useful tips for delivering videos to bright sign players, please share those in the comments below.